And hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are back inside of a life in the village. So as promised last time, I've gotten a little bit of work done on the enchanting table. It's up to the point where we should be able to enchant level 30 now. Um, as a matter of fact, I want to move my grindstone over because we'll probably be enchanting and disenchanting quite a few times to try and get what we're looking for. Uh, first things first, I'd like to... Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? I want to find out... First and foremost, enchanter power up plus one enchantment level on enchanting. I don't know what exactly that's going to do. I presume it's just going to give me an extra enchant level every time, but we'll see. Um, wasn't I at 104 before? Efficiency four and breaking four. Yo, okay, so it gives an extra level to... Uh, the actual like enchantment that's guaranteed that that's huge can i enchant the sword yeah yeah i'm breaking four smite six looting four bro i'm gonna need to re-roll this a couple times because i want sharpness though i want sharpness and looting ideally sharpness five knock back three. Oh, that's okay okay we're gonna have to roll a couple of these a couple times I'm breaking four in fire aspect three, but once again, I'm I'm looking for sharpness here. I'm looking for sharpness. Looting four fire aspect three and I'm breaking four. You know what? I'm gonna hold on to that. And one thing I'm gonna be able to do as we have more books and stuff is I'm gonna be able to enchant a bunch of books. So this might not have any sharpness, but I'm breaking fire aspect and looting is basically everything I need. So having this all wrapped neatly into the sword is pretty nice and then i also need to search for a fortune book but two leather three leather one leather three leather yeah we got leather from every single drop so i don't know i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with that is there anything else i can get for the enchanter job that will be really useful double experience will be huge um but Let's go ahead. Oh, I saw that there from when I was making bookshelves. Let's go ahead and make a couple books and just enchant a couple and see what we're working with. Um, that jump three increases the height of straddle for jumps. I uh, doesn't sound very useful to me. Buddy boost three upgrades the effect of buddy steel. Doesn't sound very useful. Tethered teleport. Pet will teleport with its owner even across dimensions. Um, I don't know what mod that's for. Warping bite and prop four. <laughs> that will randomly teleport targeted mobs away from it. Gluttonous pet can eat any food. There's a lot of pet stuff I'm getting from these books, which isn't exactly what I was hoping for. Riptide three. Deflecting. Straddle jump three. Blast prop five. Okay, that's I don't know. I'm I'm confused by all the pet upgrades. I was hoping mostly for vanilla enchants from this, but if that's mostly what we're dealing with, I might be out of luck for sharpness for this. I might have to see about something else. However, for the pickaxe, I can just make another diamond pickaxe and grind for fortune. Which is probably the way to go with this. If I get fortune four, then next time we find diamonds, it'll definitely come in handy. Fortune four, efficiency five, and break. That's actually perfect. Um, we'll grindstone this, and this will be looking more so for silk touch, I guess. Would be nice. Uh, for the moment, we're just getting a lot of fortune. I'm going to just leave it as is for the moment. We'll just have an extra diamond pick, I guess. Not a big deal if I accidentally go overboard and break this. Also, unbreaking four will be huge. Because each level of unbreaking gives a chance not to cost our ability every time it's used. So, I don't know. That will be pretty nice. And then we'll need to get some armor and stuff. I'm not super worried about jumping on that immediately. But once we get diamonds and have some armor and stuff will be able to go to the nether a lot easier so actually give me a sec i'm gonna do some mining guys and i'll catch you guys once we have some more diamonds all right guys so while i was mining i, I found something kind of cool down here we got a double zombie spawner here. this is crazy 
if we want to um get like mob grinder going for XP, words elude me. Um, th this would be like the perfect spot to do it with two zombie spawners. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I do not have space for all this. Plus one fire aspect max at three. Yeah, that's useless. I already have fire aspect three, but wow, I am surprised at how much stuff spawns in these quests. Supply camp chest free. Okay, I'm gonna probably end up coming back for a lot of this stuff anyway. So I'm not gonna really worry too much about looting everything because once again, there's two zombie spawners. Let me just actually, I can I can do it without opening that because we actually have cords over there. But uh, yeah, still haven't found any diamonds. As you guys can tell, I have a little bit of iron. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to it and hopefully find some diamonds. So, still no diamonds. It's actually only been like a couple seconds, but what in the world is this? Like, this looks like there's probably something in here. Let me just avoid the zombies. These mighty zombies or whatever, the full iron armor, diamond sword, they take forever to stink and kill. Yeah, that only did five damage to him. Like, each crit hit only does half a heart of damage to him most of the time. And normal hits don't even always deal damage. Like, it's it's a slow grind to kill most of the time. Luckily, the creeper removed five hits from what I had to do. And all I get from it is emeralds. Nothing, nothing crazy. Alright, what is in here? Oh, interesting. What does that lead down to? We got some more buddy cards. An extra level of sweeping edge. I don't even have one level of sweeping edge left. Um, I don't really have room for any of this stuff, so I'm gonna just ignore it for the most part. Let's go check out what's down here though. Oh, diamonds, let's go. Wait, is this? Oh, it's just a skeleton spawner at the bottom. And it looks like this probably leads down to a cave. Oh, there's another spawner. Uh... Before we touch anything, I just want to see. I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited to find out. Um, how many diamonds will I get? Oh, that is unlucky. Fortune four, and I got a single diamond from it. Oof. I want to know what the high end looks like, though. Because the thing about fortune is there's always that off chance that you only get the single diamond from it. But the high end ends up being crazy for some of this stuff. Right, I need to get a torch down. Oh, this means we also have an area with two... Oh, this is like a full-on dungeon. Maybe I should come back once I have inventory space. Got some instant health potions. Sacred scroll of regeneration. Nope. A note block. <laughs> I love that you can change the, the tune of the creeper explosion. All right, yeah. Before we do anything else or venture any further down, uh, okay, we're going to explore this. I think today is going to be the dungeon exploring episode, but I'm gonna go back up and clear out my inventory first, and then we'll explore down here. All right, guys. So I picked up some stuff. I also went ahead and brought down some chests because I figured. Uh, well, it's it's close enough to the staircase. The staircase is. Let me just look at the map. Like right over here, ish. Um, so so it's a really sh short walk back over to the stairs once we get, you know, up out of here. So I figure rather than trying to store everything in my inventory, it's probably easier to do it that way. Oh, I got a got a box. A piece of string in it. Let's go. Uh, I probably shouldn't be collecting these while I'm down below. Yeah, I won't. I won't collect these right now. I'll save them for later, so I don't waste inventory space. But yes, I also went ahead and enchanted some armor. Um, I didn't re-roll or try very hard to get specific stuff. I just went ahead and took what I got. All right. Wait, is this it? 
No, no, it, it goes further. It goes further. Okay. At least one more room. Uh, it'd be awkward if I went ahead and set all this up and then there was only two rooms. Uh, I guess I needed to run up to drop stuff off regardless. Just look at all these chests. But, oops. For you guys to blow each other up there. Lava down there is going to turn to obsidian. More buddy cards. I went ahead and just popped open the ones we had. We have a lot of random buddy cards. Ooh, an uncommon hat grab pack. It's going to be drinking hat diable. I'm pretty sure I have a plastic drinking hat equipped now, so I can trade that out. I'm pretty sure these will do the same thing. Probably. I want to try and eat something, but I don't have anything to eat. All right. Oh. What just happened? The... The dungeon repairs itself? Yo, that's crazy. Alright. Um, I guess. Granted scroll of speed 2. Can be used on an ally. Hold right click to cast a spell. 10 minutes. Okay. Guess I'll take it. Um... I'm taking the supply camp chest because I figure... Worst case scenario, we can put some of them down and... You know, get new records. All right, is that a crown? I hear people on the other side of this wall. All right, now is this a staircase or is this? As I said it's gonna be very awkward if this ends up being it. But it looks like regardless, we're going up. Huh? I'm so confused. Is is this all really? This is just a random parkour to nowhere? It's just a random parkour to nowhere. <laughs> I was really hopeful that there was going to be more since it went up like this. But we got a crown, so who's the real winner here? Uh, well, that's kind of neat in its own right. I feel like I wasted a lot of time, but especially bringing these chests down to place, but whatever. Um, well guys, I'm gonna go back to looking for diamonds for at least a bit, I guess. All right guys, so I've done, I, I did a little more mining. We only got 10 diamonds total, kind of disappointing. I only found like three diamond ore that entire time. Uh, we have these buddy cards. I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I, I still don't fully understand what the point of all these are. They seem kind of neat in their own right, I guess, but like, I don't know, they, they just don't seem to have a lot of use. I have basically one of every type in the base set now, though, so that's, well, I guess, I really don't know what the point of all these are. Um, oh, well, I'm going to not be too concerned about it. So I figured today, since we have better armor and stuff, granted it's already taken quite a quite a bit of hits, but um, we we actually have armor and a decent sword. Granted, the sword doesn't have any boost that'll actually be useful in the Nether, but I, I think we'll go into the Nether. We'll give it a shot. I figure, hey, we've already done you know a bunch of cave exploring today, so we might as well. Take a look at the nether. I should have brought blocks though. Uh, I waited. Get some blocks. There we go. Now, the only thing is, is we're going to have to pillar. Which I really don't like since it's the nether and you never know what's going to pop out at you. But we need to get over there. The problem. Well, that's right. There's. I believe that's quark. Although I will admit this feels a lot slower, even if it, even though it's probably, well, not probably, it's basically got to be the same speed as just going normally. But man, does it feel slower! Whoops. Um, I will say Unbreaking Four is crazy good. Like every level of Unbreaking adds a chance not to, um, take damage to your tools, but. Unbreaking 4 makes it so it basically never takes damage. Like, look at how tiny of a slither the pickaxe is gone. That's 
it, it's it hasn't even taken a full stack worth of blocks in durability damage. It's pretty crazy. All right. Boom. That is very much so not a straight way up and will cause problems later if I try and fill up that, but it's fine. All right, let's drop down here. I figure it's better to be able to mostly explore on foot rather than to have to pillar everywhere. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I find it interesting piglins are passive but still show up as red with your sword out for their health bars. Although, I guess so do Endermen. So. I guess it is what it is. That. Can't quite get high enough to take a look. We got a crimson forest. I would have liked a warped forest. Oh. <laughs> that is so cursed. Well, I guess... I guess it didn't cause too much many realms. Pretty dark out here. Funny and interesting I ended up wrapped back around here. Let's see if there's any through lines this way. Also, cobalt. We're gonna need some of that at some point. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we'll really... Touch Tinker's Construct. Whoops. Did not make that jump. I guess let's pill her up. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Because with the extra level on the enchants compared to vanilla, the enchanted stuff's kind of crazy. And all, already in the first place, enchanted stuff. Offy beans. It feels like a really... Out of place thing to pick up from the nether. This it has like no use. What? The point of these, they they give you hunger. They only restore a single bar. You can't cook them into anything else. I don't know why you'd even want them. Man, it's a little dark down here. Should I brought some wood so I can make some torches? Uh. I was I'm kind of disappointed. Disappointed. Like there's a couple of those like added nether things, but for the most part, it's basically just a vanilla nether. I don't bring any gold armor, so I'm gonna have to fight any piglins I see. Oh, the firefoxes are passive. Really? No, they are not. I've been lied to by the health bars. Uh, I think they don't. Really understand what they're talking about with that. All right, hey guys, passing through. I'm gonna go check out the Crimson Forest. Let's see here. I want some saplings for this. Although granted, without the Crimson Nylum, I can't plant it, and I don't have Silk Touch. So I guess. All right, warped fungus is the actual saplings, but yeah, I, I guess there's not really a ton of use to mining any of the um, nether wart, unless I want to use it for some form of building. Shroom lights are obviously always useful though. Free lighting. Right, a hoglin around. I want to be careful not to overextend my hand. Because dying in the nether and having to get back without my stuff would kind of stink. Yeah. Oh. That looks like a fortress down there. You know, I, I know I just said I probably shouldn't overextend my hand, but... Let's go take a look. There might be custom loot in the fortresses. I know... There's one mod added that adds in, like, all of those custom loot chests that are in like the dungeons and stuff that we were looting earlier today but I don't know how or not how 
I don't know whether or not they'll be in the nether fortress. All the piglins will be hostile towards me, which will be a bit of a problem with those that have shields. Get out of here, piglin brute. Yo, you do a lot of damage. Those do a lot of damage. Hi, buddy. I'm actually ready for you now. They don't take much knockback either. I wish I had some form of sharpness on my sword. Either that or at least knockback. All right. Let's see here. Let's run around this way. I want to be up top on the upper side of the bridge. I don't want to hang out by all that lava. Uh, I don't know how thoroughly I want to actually invest in going in these. They're kind of neat, but three piglin brutes, I think, and I'm basically guaranteed dead. <laughs> As long as it sticks to normal piglins, though, I should be fine. I don't think really any number of normal piglins will be able to cause massive threat to me. But, that's not guaranteed. That's just my assumption. I didn't take any damage from any of the hits of the couple normal piglins I ran into. I just don't figure they'll be able to realistically threaten me. I'm mostly just worried about the couple piglin around. Hey, buddy. The fire aspect three too, like the the fire effect on mobs I hit lasts for basically ever. It definitely lasts long enough that there's nothing to worry about. Oh, armor reached level two. Let's go. Might be able to survive a little bit easier against those piglin brutes. I do have to be careful with the normal piglins though, because if my armor takes too much damage, then I'll be in trouble. Oh, there's a brute. Oh, bro. Focus on the brute, focus on the brute. Okay, we good? Oh, I forgot I even had thorns on any of my armor. Yeah, the chest plate is thorns three, that's why it's so broken. Another piglin brute there. Let's just beeline the piglin brute. They have a lot of HP. I was not aware they had so much. Oh, that's another pickling brute. That, that. Uh oh, uh oh. Careful, 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 careful. I need to be able to eat. Alright, let's grab that gold. Take a quick look in the chest. Yo, this is actually crazy. Grab what I can, grab what I can. A lot of, lot of achievements ticking in there. Um, any other pods, relevant weathered copper sword, interesting. All right, piglin brute, I'm not overwhelmed this time, so you're not really much of a threat. Uh, banner pattern, don't really need that. All right, let's let's start let's start heading out of here. This is this is good stuff. All that diamond armor, like I wasn't expecting to realistically get anything I could utilize, but diamond armor is huge, because, I don't know, I've been fairly unlucky with diamonds, it feels like. Uh, I need to find ways up. Uh-oh. Okay. I have a couple levels of fire resistance on stuff, so that's not a big deal. That's part of the reason why I was so willing to come in here, because I knew that even if I fell in the lava, it wouldn't be a huge problem. Granted, after falling in there, that did, like, no damage. So I'm very confident that I'll be fine. Alright. Boom. Which way are we at? Do we need to exit this way? Yeah. Oh. Gonna have to fill her up that. I don't know where the exit's at. Oh. I was just about to say I don't know where the exit's at. And then I <laughs> walked right to it. Alright. Last spot to check. I don't really want to explore the interiors of this set. But. We want to come just up here and take a look at the 
upper edge? That'd be nice. I focus on the normal piglin. He'll die anyway. Alright. Oh, we, there's nether sets, the buddy cards. Full speed one, block of iron. This is like experience for the tombstone mod. I don't know exactly what all this stuff does, but... I guess it's fine. You see in the dark and the Oh, that's Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that. Alright, Piglin, die, die. Alright, I wanna go up because there should be gold blocks up top. I do not like all these noises. Uh, no gold blocks. I thought gold blocks normally spawned up top. Maybe that's not on this form of the structure. Alright. Um, oh. Well, I find it funny that he has the passive health bar and very clearly is not passive. Uh, I don't see any nether fortresses or anything around. Let's start heading back, I think. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. You know, we did, we did all right. Got quite a bit of stuff. The diamond pants should be nice. The five diamonds too. That gives us 15 diamonds, which a, not quite enough to finish off the set of armor, but pretty close. So we'll just need to find a couple more diamonds at some point. All right. And then I'm guessing this will probably be the last time that we do uh, a decent amount of any form of exploration on camera. I doubt I'll do much more until probably we're off looking for another fortress to head to the end. And yeah, that, that'll probably be the next time I do too much of this stuff on camera. Because it's not the main point of this series, but it's kind of like the... Side episodes, you know? That? Yo, nausea, really? I don't know. That's... Oh, that's so annoying. Why do you have to do this to me? I did not expect that to have a negative effect. That seems like a weird addition. Adding negative effects to hoglin meat. Like, I get adding the, the special hoglin meat that's different from just pork chops or whatever, but the nausea effect is off. Alright. We're back to the salt waste, but I feel like we're too high up. Almost for sure. Just bring it back down. Oh, is that another fortress? Wait, 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 wait. Where are we? That nether fortress should mean we went too far back up. Which means the portal's probably... I should have taken a screenshot of the cords. Uh-oh. Yeah, because that's nether fortress entrance. So we've definitely gone too far this way. Uh... Oh, I want, I want all this. By the way, does that give... Two. I guess fortune doesn't really affect glowstone. Oh, well, that's fine. We realistically need silk touch then for the glowstone. Alright, so we know there's another fortress here now. It shows up on the map, so I don't really need to... Mark it anyhow. I just need to find a way back out to the nether waste. Uh, I should not have dropped down that hole. Uh, I guess we're going through the nether fortress. Because, yeah, this leads us right back out. Alright, cool. We got a soul sand valley over here. Neat, neat. I'm gonna take. That's a buffed skeleton up there. I'm gonna take that. 
All right. That would have been in seeing range. Yeah, so I think we need to head like over here. I think I can actually set waypoints and stuff. I should be setting waypoints at important markers. Like even if I disable them, just stuff that I can re-enable real quick whenever I'm a little bit lost. I don't know, that would be that'd be nice. Oh, more of the explosive plant. I feel like I should be basically right up over here somewhere. More boom boom. Those the ones I passed by earlier? Oh! Oh! Hey! I think we're probably close. <laughs> yeah, this is the bridge. Alright, cool. Yeah, so let's get back to the bridge, take a look at the possibility of setting waypoints. Okay. I don't like crossing this, this sort of long straight bridge. Makes me stressed out that I'm gonna like get hit from the side or something. Alright. There is a map mod. Obviously, I've been using it. And yeah, I can just make a waypoint. Portal. Confirm. <laughs> it's just like that, we have a waypoint. And I think if I, I can set the waypoint to not show up. I mean, it, it doesn't matter right now, because we're in the nether anyway. I'm going to just hop back through and leave that as it is. And we know where the fortress is at now. So whenever we're a little bit closer to feeling like a dragon fight or whatnot, we have the option. Um, oh, we've never named the village. Uh, let's put some stuff away and at least give it a interim name because leaving it as is feels wrong all right i'm gonna put nether stuff in the top left that should make sorting easy enough i'm gonna need another valuables chest at this rate all right of course you go stuff all right rare hat grab bag what's it gonna be candle i wish there were oh there's a cosmetic slot for that that's so cursed, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it on because I can. Alrighty. Let's see here. Maybe we'll give an interim name next time. Give me some time to think about it. Um, I don't know when this video is coming out in relation to whether or not I'm gonna have to pre record more videos for vacation or not. So I don't know whether or not the last this video will come out by the time I'm recording the next. So, but, but assuming. It hasn't. Uh, leave, leave, leave suggestions for the village name anyway, because if I'm just setting an interim name, we'll need a permanent name for the future anyway. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. God bless. Bye-bye.